What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you our week seven team builder here in the WCBL. This week we are taking on Pure Awesome Gamer, gaming, whatever it. I think it's Pure Awesome Gaming, uh, otherwise known as Pag and his Dallas Keldios. Pure Awesome Gaming, that's what it is. And uh, his team is is really decently scary. It's the Battle of the Deoxys this week, uh, as Pag has Deoxys Speed, Mimikyu, Zygar ten percent. Aloma Mola, Hitmon Lee, Rotom Fan, um, Mega Houndoom, Ferrothorn, Galvantula, um, Rose Raid, and Chansey. Couple things to note: uh, Chansey, obviously big, scary, bulky mon. He's got really seriously scary bulk with Chansey, Ferrothorn, Aloma Mola, things like that. So that's going to be really, really hard to break through. He also has Deoxys Speed, which is like the fastest Mon legal in this league, which is insane. So there's no outspeeding that thing ever. I think it's like base 180 speed, which is absolutely redonkulous. Um, yeah, base 180 speed, so that's kind of ridiculous. Um, he has Galvantula for potential webs, which is something that could be very annoying for our team. Um, I really don't appreciate the idea of sticky webs, so hopefully we can um, play well enough to keep those things off the field. Uh, as well as um, Mega Houndoom, um, which is another instance of, oh, big, scary, strong fire type that can probably just nuke my whole team. Something I'm not looking forward to facing, and hopefully uh, we have been able to figure out a way to beat. Um, we really haven't figured out much of a way to beat it. But uh, hopefully... We can pull this off. Uh, I think we have a good chance, but it's going to be a tough one regardless. Um, just breaking through some mons on his team, that's going to be really tough. His Z users are Hitmonlee and Mimikyu. Um, Mimikyu being the scarier of the two, mostly due to the fact that it could probably just run a... Uh, with, with its disguise, it can easily just set up and fire off a nuke of a Z move against me. And I really don't have a lot that can that wants to take it, slash could afford to take it. I only have one mod on my team that outspeeds it, and that mod doesn't appreciate a Shadow Sneak at all. So it's going to be a tough one for sure, uh, but I think we can pull off the W here if if we play it right. So first one we're going to be bringing is hashtag give him the D. We have to have the Battle of the Oxus this week. Um, we are bringing Knock Off, Nightshade, Taunt, and Recover. Taunt is here for uh, his bulkier mons, the Aloma Mola, the um, Ferrothorn, the Chansey. Uh, those things we outspeed naturally, and he would have to invest a lot to outspeed us, if even possible to outspeed us. So this way we have at least a more guaranteed way of shutting those mons down. A lot of them are, have a hard time doing a lot against us. Um, we have the knockoff, uh, so we can get rid of the Chansey's Eviolite if he does bring it. Um, we're specifically bringing knockoff just for that reason. Um, and we have the Nightshade because it does damage to the majority of his team. Uh, the only mod that it doesn't do damage to is the Chansey, which is very unfortunate. But at the end of the day, uh, being level 100 with the Chansey, even if he doesn't invest, it's still like a 7 hit KO. Uh, if Nightshade could even hit it. So... Unfortunately, that won't work in our favor, but... We do have the Taunt as well, uh, and that will be uh, crucial to uh, shutting down his bulkier threats. And at least with the uh, Nightshade, we will be able to whittle down a lot of members of his team pretty indiscriminately, so that could be really, really useful. Um, I think our defensive investment is so that we might be able to take, I think, like a plus two Ghost DM or something from like Mimikyu or some shit. I don't remember off the top of my head if that was what I was going for, but if so, then that would be it. Um, so is that. Next we have Sam Yoa, Sam Yoa Joe, Samoa, a Samoa Joe reference in 2018, crazy. Um, we have Sam Yoa Joe with the Assault Vest. Uh, this is our main way of taking on the, um, the Mega Houndoom. Uh, knock off Fire Blast, Drain Punch, and U-Turn. I'm not bringing Flare Blitz because at any point in the match to whittle me down, he could just go into his Ferrothorn and just like use the Iron Barbs and potentially Rocky Helmet to basically just kill me off plus the recoil. So I'm bringing uh, 
max attack but brave nature with fire blast so this way uh when i'm trying to take out the ferrothorn i don't have to take recoil damage or anything else like that i can just go for a fire blast and be able to do massive damage to the ferrothorn without any drawback so that's really really cool uh, we have the drain punch as a means of taking out the mega houndoom between the recovery and everything mega houndoom just cannot beat us uh knock off to get rid of uh, the EV light on Chansey slash just items in general in his team. I think that would be really useful. And realistically, he doesn't really have barring Mega Houndoom itself. Um, Aloma Mola is his like main switch into this mon, and it it won't appreciate getting its leftovers knocked off. And then we can just U turn out on it without any real issue, and uh, we can go out into something that can handle it better. So I think. Incineroar is a, is a really good bring this week. I think Incineroar has a really good matchup overall. Just going to have to be careful about that Zygarde uh, 10% over there. Next up, we have Finny Nut, the Tapu Finny. Uh, 248 HP, 160 into our defense, uh, 88 into Spadef with a Calm Nature, and then 12 into our speed. The 12 in speed is to outspeed a min speed uh, Rotom Fan, just in case he decides to bring it in that manner. Who knows? He could. we not sure. Um, defensive investment-wise, um, we have the Kevy Berry and that uh, Spadef investment so that we can take a shadow, uh, Sludge Bomb from the uh, Mega Houndoom and hit that thing back with a Surf as hard as we possibly can. Uh, we have HP Fire for the Ferrothorn to hit that thing as hard as possible. Uh, taunt as well for things like the Chansey and... Pharaoh and a little Mola, so that will be faster then. Uh, Nature's Madness is our way of really breaking those mons down as well. Uh, it would be really, really nice to just hit like a Chansey with a Nature's Madness out of nowhere. I think that'd be really cool. Um, Nature's Madness is just good for this matchup because a lot of mons don't appreciate getting their HP cut in half. Um, and at least two out of the three bulky mons uh, will be pretty much taken out by that, which is awesome. Um... It'd be cool if I can get a Nature's Madness off on an incoming Ferrothorn and then have it in range of HP Fire. I think that'd be great if that can work out that way, so hopefully that'll happen. Um, but yeah, I think this is just an overall really solid uh, set for this week. Uh, the defensive investment, I think... I think was just leftover, but it, it works really, really well in sponging hits from things like Mimikyu and uh, really shutting down that Zygarde as hard as we possibly can. Uh, Zygarde really can't do shit to us, so... Like, this set pretty much shuts down Zygarde. The next mod we're bringing is Bruce Wayne, our Gliscor, uh, Toxic Orb, Poison Heal for the ability. 212 into Special Defense with the Careful Nature, 248 HP, and 48 into Physical Defense. I don't... I'll, I'll be completely honest. I built this team a decent while ago. I don't remember exactly what the uh, investment was for, um, but I know it mattered for something. I think that, like, allows us to live in HP Ice or something from a mon that, like, we normally shouldn't be able to live one from or something like that. I don't know. We have Defog, Roost, Taunt, and Earthquake. Um, this set's just kind of meant to be a stall breaker. Uh, this week kind of shut down things like the Ferrothorn, a little Mola Chansey with the Taunt, and just kind of whittled them down with Earthquake and stuff like that. Uh, they can't really do much about, about it. Defog will be really nice to keep potential webs off our side of the field. Um... I don't want webs on our side of the field at all. So hopefully we can uh, play this right and keep keep things solid for our team. I think that'll be really good. Um, <clears throat> this set gets walled by Rotom Fan, unfortunately. Uh, I couldn't. There was not much I could really do about that. I tried to. Um, I tried to build it the best way I think I think I could for the matchup. It was just it was a tough. It was a tough bring, but I think Gly I needed Gliscor Defog, and I needed all the moves I had on Finny, so I, I needed Gliscor for Defog, essentially, uh, to bring, because I couldn't really afford to bring Avalug. Um, I mean, I could have brought Avalug, like, it's bulky enough. Um, Mega Houndoom threatens it, though, and Roserade threatens it way too much, so it was kind of like a... It was more so just kind of like, I, I, I brought what I felt was best for hazard removal this week, and I just think this will be it. Uh, next up, we're bringing Gajil, our Mega Aggron. We are bringing Toxic, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Fire Punch. Fully specially defensive. Um, 
if he gets Sun up for Mega Doom, uh, that basically GG. I'm um, calling it like that, calling it like it is. It's basically GG um, because uh, it will blow through this thing. If the Sun is not up, I believe we can actually still take a hit from Mega Hound Doom, which is nice. Um, maybe not Fire Blast, but we can maybe take a hit. I don't know. But uh, Earthquake is here to hit the Mega Hound Doom. If we have the potential to take that hit, we'll go for it. Uh, we have Fire Punch for that Ferrothorn, um, slash Galvantula, slash Rose Raid. We have Heavy Slam, which pretty much nuke a majority of his team. Um, and we have Toxic, just kind of whittle down uh, some of his bulkier mons. Um, his main form of Cleric potential is Chansey. I don't remember if Alomola... I don't remember if Alomola gets Heal Bell or anything... He does not get heal bell. So he has to basically be a cleric with um <sighs> mm. Yeah no. His only cleric potential is Chansey with uh, Heal Bell slash Aromatherapy or whatever, and we can pretty much stop Chansey from doing that. Um, Chansey can't actually uh, beat us, and I'm actually going to take the four out of um, my physical attack here, because it really doesn't do much. I'm going to put it into speed, because Chansey is base 50 speed, so at least this way we will outspeed the Chansey all the time, because I think he needs all of his investment in his defenses. So. That is going to be our Aggron there. We have Hermione, our Miss Magius as our last bring this week. Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire, Thunderbolt, and Taunt. Not enough speed to outpace the Mimikyu. Um, max Special Attack, and then 72 into HP. Um, goal one is to break through the Mimikyu's disguise. We have to do that ASAP. Um... Goal two is then to just have Miss Magius be at full health and have no hazards on the field. Uh, then we can get Miss Magius in. We can click Shadow Ball on the Mimikyu and just knock it out. Um, we have Mystical Fire as well to take out the uh, Ferrothorn and Thunderbolt to 1v1 the Alomomola. Um That's the point of having Taunt here. This set also can kind of shut down Chansey. Uh, if we can get this in like a 1v1 versus Chansey, if it brought Shadow, if it brought Seismic Toss, or even, like, and we, we can taunt it, it pretty much has to struggle, or just go for uh, Seismic Tosses, and then we can pretty much go for a free taunt or attack onto whatever he might want to go into. Um, realistically, I think we would probably go into the Houndoom on this, um, more than likely because it has the best ma matchup against it, but... Uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I think this is the best possible team for this matchup. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, the battle will be going up tomorrow. So uh, hope you guys stick around to check that out. Uh, but until then, I'm Poke Primer, and I am signing off. Peace.